Weekend bus shuttles begin between two red line stations today as part of a project to revamp tunnels. Yeah, the MBTA is replacing floating slabs between Harvard and Alwife stations, demolishing the existing ones and replacing them. The MBTA's chief of capital delivery, Katie Coe, joins us now to explain the process. Katie, can you start by explaining what are these floating slabs? Sure, I'd be happy to, and thanks for having me this morning. So when you think about uh, railways, you often think about wooden ties and stone ballast, and that's the case for most of our subway system, but there's two locations in the system that have what we call floating slabs, and that is the end of the red line where we're replacing them and also the Southwest corridor on the orange line. And what they are is a rubber mat and then a series of two concrete pads on top of that that the rails are affixed to instead of wooden ties. And we do that primarily because it's quieter, so there's a noise advantage, but also they last longer than the um, ties and stone ballast. So why do these need to be replaced? So these have been in place um, since the red line extension was built between 1978 and 1985. So they're really at the end of their service life. Um, and so we're getting to replace uh, those that are oldest in the system. Um, and then uh, it's really, it's a reliability, modernization, state of good repair project. We expect them to last for another 40 years, the ones that we're replacing. Um, and we're really doing this to get ready for the new red line trains and for increased headway that will come with those trains. Okay, how's the process work? Are they like new and improved over the old ones? And no, it's really just a straight replacement. It's just tough to replace them because they're concrete slabs. So we need to go in and demolish those slabs. We, uh, you know, so have to un unclip the rails from the slabs, move them out of the way, put uh, demolish the slabs, put a new pre-cast slab in, uh, cast another concrete pad on top of that, and then affix the rails to the new concrete. So it, it's quite a production. It takes um, a, a couple days and quite a bit of time uh, for each slab. And we have nearly 7,000 slabs just on the, re uh, the red line alone. So for the thousands and thousands of people who travel through that area, what do people need to know if those stops are part of their commute and what bus shuttles do they need to know about? So we are replacing uh, the red line service with buses between Alewife and Harvard for this weekend and then a series of weekends over the course of this year so that we can uh, complete the project. Uh, we uh, just ask for people's patience um, because it is, uh, you know, it can be stressful to change your commute. So please, uh, you know, just uh, uh, bear with us as we replace those uh, trains with bus shuttles um, and just allow a little extra time. We do do it on the weekends so that we try impact a, a smaller number of people but we do know that people use the red line on weekends so just bear with us okay i see your schedule there we had it on the screen but when you say seven thousand slabs you have my attention will you <laughs> when will you be done is this definitely end of may or um, so we've actually been working on this since 2018, um, and uh, we do have we have a series of shutdowns planned uh, for this year. I do uh, we do plan on getting all of the work done by the end of the calendar year. I think we will go uh, and schedule a few more into the fall, uh, but we don't have those on the calendar yet. Okay, Katie, thank you so much for joining us on this Saturday morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much.